Well, welcome back, you all. We are back at Surviving and Thriving in a Pandemic. I am your host, Pastor Sharice Cross. I am so excited that you're back here with us today. Listen, I need you all to share, 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 share. We got some great information today. We have a great organization that's here and a wonderful person who's going to share about this organization. It's called Girl Trek. What started out as a 10-week challenge 10 years ago by two friends, Vanessa Garrison and Morgan T. Morgan Dixon, is now Girl Trek, the largest health movement and nonprofit for Black women and girls in the United States. Girl Trek unapologetically serves the needs and desires of Black women by inspiring and mobilizing Black women everywhere to put themselves first by practicing radical self-care through walking and spending time, spending transformative time in nature and outdoors. With each walk, with each challenge, with each 30 minute commitment completed, Girl Trek is creating a movement, a, a revolution centered on self-love. I love that. With 1 million members and counting, Girl Trek is the most effective public health solution in the country right now. I am so, so excited to bring to you today, Haley Darby. She is the Girl Trek National Field Director, faith-based programming person here today. And I'm excited for her to be on the show. Please help us welcome Haley. Haley, it's so good for you to be here today. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Pastor Cross. I am so honored to be representing Girl Trek and to be talking with you. Um, it is just such a blessing. So I can't wait to get into this conversation. Yes, yes, yes. So listen, you all started with um, two women, two women, and I love that. Vanessa Garrison and T. Morgan Dixon, two women. And just the thought around Black women. I love the fact that we're talking about Black women. But from two women to one million, how do we get there? How did y'all even get there? How did this even start? Come on, give me some history yeah. about this. Oh, that's such a great question. The story of Girl Trek and the inception of where it started is such a powerful thing. Um, our co-founders, Morgan Dixon and Vanessa Garrison, were two women who met in college and mm -hmm. they have been best friends, sister friends, probably like a lot of women watching this. We all have our sister friends that we um, have the real conversations with. And as time went on, they began looking around at their families and seeing that the women in their families were dying at early ages. Vanessa Garrison, who is our co-founder from Seattle, Washington, she realized that the average age of her, the women in her family, they were dying at 65 years old. And that is like 20 years less than our Asian American sisters and our white um, American sisters, and they were like, we have to do something about that. So not only were the women in their family dying at um, early ages from largely preventable diseases, um, they were also just really tired, um, grinding and just working. And um, Morgan actually has a powerful testimony about overcoming depression and walking through that. And that is how mm -hmm. it got started. They were like, we can do something about this. And they started walking. So that 10 week challenge, they gathered almost 500 of their friends there, um, the women across the nation. And it has been just a powerful movement forward ever since then. So one sister told one sister told one sister told one sister, um, and it's grown to over 1.5 million women walking across the nation. And we even have sisters um, across the African diaspora. So on the continent of Africa, in the Virgin Islands, all across, all across the world. Oh. I love that. I love that. And, and did you know that exercise is a natural form of Prozac? I love the fact that even uh, has, as Morgan pushed through with her mental health, she used exercise mm -hmm. in that form. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of a holistic practice. So beautiful. Yeah, yeah. There's something about just getting up in the morning and putting 
one foot forward and knowing that you don't have to go run a marathon, but you can really um, engage with your surroundings. You can slow your heart down. You can um, have mindful meditation moments with the Lord. You can do anything on your walk and it's truly healing. I love it. I love it. And, and that's it. That's it. That radical self-care that you all speak about and it equated to walking is what I read and spending transformative time in nature and outdoors. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that, that transformative time outside and in nature. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I know just for me this morning, I live in Houston, Texas, and it's getting a little chilly out here. Um, but every morning I go out for a walk. Now in the summer months, it's kind of hard because <laughs> it's just dripping <laughs> sweat. Oh, Texas, yeah. Yes, <laughs> this morning, the cool breeze was out. The sunrise was just coming up um, and it was beautiful. And as black women, we have, <laughs> there's an urgency that says we have to get up and go wake up and start doing something. But when you, um, when you take the time to go on your walk and hear the birds chirping, you see the leaves falling. Um, I know in other parts of the world or other parts of the country right now, the leaves turn red or yellow. So I've heard in Houston, it just stays green and it <laughs> falls down to the ground. But there's really <laughs> powerful moments that can happen um, when you are in nature. Um, for me, my thing and mine and my family's thing is hiking. We love to go hiking um, in the hills of Mississippi or just um, at our neighborhood park in, here in Houston and being covered by the tree canopy, being away from the highways, it is truly healing. Um, and like I said, you get to really slow down, um, take a moment for yourself. If you, I go on walks with my mom, um, I get to have real conversations with her, ask her the hard questions, um, and get to just be in joy and enjoy the outside that God has given us. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know what? And when you, when you mentioned what God has given us, I'm thinking about how uh, the Bible talks about consider the birds. Mm. Consider. So that's just taking a moment just to consider because oftentimes Ooh. we're in such a rush we don't even get time to even listen to the birds. So I love that fact that you just mentioned that just like, yes, I get time to not only connect with my family, but also with God. And that's beautiful. You and your mom taking walks. That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah it's, it slows the whole family down. And um, for me mm. personally, before I started working with Curl Trek, I actually was just a, a volunteer. My mom mm -hmm. um, was approached just on a walk out walking when she was at a very low point in her mm. life and um a girl in a blue shirt just like this came up to her and said have you heard of girl trek and she started wow. walking for her health and it transformed our entire family i have a twin sister she walks i have a 17 year old sister she walks and we all do it to like not only connect with our family um but to like mm -hmm. have a deeper connection with the world around us um to see our neighbors to slow down enough to see what is going on in our neighborhood. It is, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love that. I love that. And I'm thinking about a quote from Audre Lorde, and I believe you guys have talked about it. Caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. Come on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it is truly yeah. self-preservation. Like, um, I think just as women, um, from a biblical perspective, we we try and carry the weight of the world, which was not ours okay. to carry. Jesus already carried that. And so when you think yes. about putting yourself first, um, 30 minutes a day, um, we should be starting our days with the Lord or whatever God you serve. We should be starting our days with him. Mm -hmm. And it um, just putting that self-care first, it is truly a revolutionary act. Looking at those areas of, of, of how you became who you became, and then looking at what were all the influxes that interfered with all of the stuff. We don't like to do that. That's too much work, Selena. So
sometimes you have to take it in small pieces, in small fragments. You can't just run through it and say, okay, let's merrily, merrily do this work. It'll be fun. No, it's not fun work. It's painful. But we have to do it to get through it. band with us? I'm gonna play my clarinet. And Elmo's gonna play his drum. Drum loud. Oh, well, you know what to do, Julia. Uh, Julia knows. Mm -hmm. With Julia's autism, loud sounds can be too much. But she still loves to make music. <laughs> play band. Early screening for autism can make a lifetime of difference. Find out more at screenforautism.org. One thing that's come up in the midst of this pandemic is that people have been getting retrained, going into different careers, really making a pivot in the midst of a pandemic. The advice I would offer to any young person that has started on a path, their pool or they see some interest somewhere, somewhere else, I would tell them, do not turn your back on that. I started off as a receptionist, $7.50 an hour. And I don't make $7.50 an hour now. I always love talking to you anyway, but I love the way you connect our faith. It's not separate. It's, in, it's included. So our mm -hmm. fitness and even how we connect, that's what I love about your organization too. It says, why we walk. This is not a fitness organization, right? This is a campaign yeah. for healing. Oh my goodness. Yes. I said, come on. It's not recreation. <laughs> uh, this is a lifestyle. We walk yes. to heal our bodies, inspire our families, and to reclaim the streets of our neighborhoods. So I love that. I love hearing that. And I, and I love that you say we believe in the discipline and power of walking to transform our lives, enliven our communities, and restore our humanity. And to connect with God is, is one way of doing that. And then to do it mm -hmm. outside. So we yes. don't just have to yes. walk in. We can be outside and be connected. And I love that. I love when y'all talk about that, though. The fact that this is not just about me trying to get fit. No, this is about this campaign for healing. Talk about that, that this is yeah, a campaign so for healing. A campaign for complete Black girl healing. If you're 86 years mm -hmm. old, you still have time he for healing. If you're four years old and you just don't even know what the world entails just yet, you still have time for healing. And there's something wow. so beautiful about um, it not being a fitness organization. There, it releases the pressure of being like, mm. I have to, I, I have to, have to, have to meet this goal. I yes. have to be a certain size. When you change yes. that perspective of empowerment rather than having to compare to a certain stage, you just, you yes. feel, relieved the mm. pressure that you want to add to be a certain something is no longer there because you're working on, on the healing that is within and then everything else just follows everything else just follows and it's it's remarkable that um when you start taking that 30 minutes a day five days a week um that people have gone off of high blood pressure medicine, their diabetes has gone down. Um, yes. Just all these preventable diseases have been um, either drastically lowered or just completely wiped out. Um, and even for people's mental health, um, going yeah. on a walk has yes. saved women's lives. I was just yes. reading about a trekker that we have in Philadelphia who um, has a powerful story about how she overcame depression. And she um, and the Girl Trek women in Philadelphia, I believe, um, she was on her, she was on a very, very dark day. And she just called her Girl Trek sisters and said, hello, can you come on a walk with me? I feel like giving 
And the power that that walk holds, the power that the sisterhood holds within Girl Trek is truly life-saving. That's why we say this is more than just fitness. This is a sisterhood. This is a movement. This is changing the lives of generations um, from your mom to your grandma to your cousin to your auntie to your sister to the lady working um, the grocery store at the register. This is a movement for healing for all of us and everyone is welcomed into to that um, because we all deserve healing. We all have been um, under the pressure of 400 years of what the impact of slavery has been. Um, and even before that, there's things that we have been carrying for generations and generations that we get to be the chain breakers. And can you believe that the Lord has given us a way to break chains through walking? Like, wow, that is amazing. And I'm so grateful, <laughs> I'm so grateful. Listen, Jesus walked, didn't he? Was it Jesus walking? <laughs> yes, yes. He walked and had people walking to see him. Um, and mm -hmm. like just the power behind walking. And one one um, powerful woman in our movement is Harriet Tubman. And she mm -hmm. walks for the saving of many lives. And I we can, know that if Harriet uh, could talk, uh, if Harriet could walk um, to yes. free herself and then go back and grab um, and invite those other people to freedom, we can do that um, within our churches. We can do that within our schools. We can do that within our communities. Um, and it starts with ourselves first. So Pastor Cross, it starts with the 30 minute walk in the morning. It starts yes. with saying, hey, who on, um, who at House of Hope wants to come on a walk with me on Saturday mornings? It starts just like that. Um, and we know that if Harry Tubman can free <laughs> hundreds of people, then we, we can answer that call and go for a walk for the saving of so many um, Black women and girls within our families and within um, our neighborhoods. I love it. I love it. Um, I love that you also have a Black History Boot Camp. It's a Black History Boot Camp, right? And yeah, yeah. so when you mentioned Harry Tubman, I thought about that, the Black History Boot Camp, because Girl Trek does so many things, you all. It, it does so many things, <laughs> but I love that you inspire and educate about our history mm -hmm. so that we know about us and, and our history, where we've come from and where we're going. So talk a little bit about that as well. Yes, so Black History Boot Camp was actually a child of the pandemic. Um, there were so many mm -hmm. brilliant things that came out of this pandemic. You kind of have to look at the <laughs> consider it all joy. But last year, mm -hmm. um, we were, uh, Girl Trek was trying to figure out how do we reach women across the world? We had a mission in 2020 to get 1 million Black women walking, but we were all inside and we couldn't. Um, we couldn't connect. So they were like, mm -hmm. or they, Morgan and Vanessa, our co-founders, were like, how mm -hmm. do we reach the black women when we're isolated? So we started Black History Boot Camp, and it is a 21 day walking meditation where it's a podcast where you can listen in, put your earbuds mm -hmm. in and go for a walk. And it, um, they have black history, um, series where it's either like a prayer trek or the women of the movement. We have um, Mahalia Jackson is one of my favorite um, um, podcast episodes where they talk about the life of Mahalia Jackson and how um, she just was a pioneer and a beautiful black woman who changed um, music forever. And they have um, a podcast episode with Richard Allen who started the AME Church. Um, and there's just so many things that we can learn while we're walking. So not only is Girl Trek inspiring black women to get out and walk and um, take care of themselves, but we're also teaching. There has been stories um, about our history that I have never known until I started listening to Black History Boot Camp. And it's a powerful way to connect 1 million Black women across the world um, walking together. And we are all learning the history, whether for the 50th time or the first time. Um, and it's it's just beautiful to really walk and talk with uh, Talk and learn with Morgan and Vanessa on Black History Boot Camp.
rich uh, ideas have come out of the pandemic. And I love that you mentioned that, that uh, you uh, learn things that you didn't even know from your history. I also love mm -hmm. the fact that you're in Texas and then you have uh, the organizers in, in uh, uh, Seattle, or yeah, in Seattle, yeah, right? We have, we have organizers all across the 50 states of America. Um, there's a black mm -hmm. woman that you probably know who has heard of Girl Trek, has walked with Girl Trek. And it we are um, about 9% of the total population of black women in America. And our goal is to reach every single black woman and um, have her heal, have her walk towards her healthiest, most fulfilled life. And we have um, neighborhoods across the country, whether in Atlanta, in Houston, in Philadelphia, where um, where you can join a Girl Trek um, chapter in your city, wherever you are, just go to girltrek.org and you can connect with your city and you can find a sister today who wants to walk with you. Um, yeah. So, and I heard that Atlanta has one of the largest uh, groups. I, I heard that we're really representing out here. Is that true? You all represent in a way that is remarkable and almost I'm like, Houston needs to get their game up. <laughs> Houston's oh, very Houston. close behind them. <laughs> oh, Houston? Yes. Uh -huh. You need to have like a city mm -hmm. challenge here. Um, but yeah, yes. Atlanta is um, home of so many brilliant black women who are walking together, where, whether in Stone Mountain or in Decatur. Uh, we have mm -hmm. women who like just have inspired their churches to start walking. So mm -hmm. Atlanta, mm -hmm. I am so proud of y'all and so thankful that y'all actually have a really, really great blueprint and model on how the movement works, on how um, Girl Trek can inspire one woman and then a forest fire happens after that. And I love that even wherever you are, you can walk. So the traditional model was we got to all go down to the church. No, I can walk in my neighborhood and connect with my sisters in my neighborhood and we can build community mm -hmm. there. We have our larger community at the church, but we also fellowship outside. And we can do that through walking in all of our counties because you know, Atlanta's big and so is the greater Atlanta. So I love that <laughs> model that Girl Trek has used that you can touch women in any county that you are, mm -hmm. that you live. So it doesn't have to be one place. And I love the fact that it's not competitive. It's not about being competitive and that's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's truly beautiful because there's no barriers. There's no barriers. There's nothing that separates you from walking with your sister. Um, Girl Trek is a walk outside of your front door and go for a walk type of movement. It's grassroots. It is walking with the people who you are in community with. Um, so you don't have to drive an hour. You don't have to, um, yeah, you don't have to go far. Just walk out of your front door. And if there is no one walking in your area, we say that if you start with yourself, you start with those 30 minutes, then mm -hmm. you bring someone along. And now in the time of virtual um, engagement, 
call someone and go for a walk with them. I talked to people, I, I talked to a girl in Atlanta the other day um, and I walked with her. Um, I talk to organizers all the time and walking with them is just as powerful. And like you said, Pastor Cross, um, we can connect greater than outside our um, community, but we can also mm -hmm. connect definitely within our own community. It doesn't matter where you are. I love that. I love it. So I am looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to us starting and I know we have some things coming up. We're not going to tell y'all yes. yet, but it's coming. But not, yet. I, yeah, not yet, but I'm excited because I even see women and notice more women in my neighborhood. I'm in Gwinnett, women of color. And I love mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the point of reclaiming the streets, um, reclaiming the streets mm -hmm. of our neighborhood. Oh my goodness, mm. that right there speaks to me because sometimes where I live, there may be not a lot of us. We're moving in, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a lot of us. But now I see more people of color, more women of color, black women, especially walking uh, for their health on the streets. And so I love to see that, but I love that line, reclaiming the streets of our neighborhoods. That is one of my favorite parts of the Girl Trek mission because there are so many things that need to be reclaimed. Um, mm. Whether my goodness. there's um, abandoned houses within your neighborhood that have just sat there. Black women have the power and the know-how and the courage and the love to reclaim our neighborhoods. Whether mm. we're... Um, we're one of 10 black women within our neighborhoods. Um, we are stronger together. Like we are just, we're just stronger together. Um, but reclaiming the streets, there's a powerful um, moment um, within the Girl Trek TED Talk that we had a couple of years ago where Morgan, um, our co-founder asked, what would have happened if there were Girl mm. Trek women walking mm. on every street corner when Trayvon Martin passed away or was murdered, really, mm -hmm. what would have happened? Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. that is the recla reclaiming we're trying to do. And we can do that with joy. We can do that by sharing truth to power. We can do that by having honest conversations. Um, and the reclaiming is a very important part because these neighborhoods are for us. We can take up space. Um, this earth is God's earth and we can take up space. Listen, this has been so awesome. So, so good. And a good segue about reclaiming. We're talking about, I want to talk about the Black Family 5K National Walk that's coming up. I want you to talk to us about that. That is so, so good segue. Let me talk about that. Talk about that. Yes. The Black Family 5K is one of my favorite traditions we have started in Girl Trek. It started in 2016 on, um, on Black Friday or the Thanksgiving holiday. And it is where you register your own family to go on a walk during the Thanksgiving weekend. And we are saying no to spending money we don't have on Black Friday. We are saying no to the itis that gets us and knocks us out after Thanksgiving. And we are saying what? yes to going on a walk with our family on Thanksgiving. And whether you're five people in your household, whether you have 20 people at your Thanksgiving dinner, whether you're not going home for the holidays, Black Family mm -hmm. 5K is inviting you and Girl Trek is inviting you to register your family to walk 3.1 miles in celebration of the Black family. Um, and it is exciting because last year we did not get to do this, but Black Family 5K is completely free. You just register your family. You can buy a t-shirt um, and you can walk. It's really about starting a new tradition with your family. We know that um, Black black families, um, when it comes to the holidays, we just want to relax and we deserve to relax, but we also yeah. deserve to live, right? We deserve to live. Yeah. So what yeah. would it look like for your family this Thanksgiving to go 
on a walk together after you finish eating your Thanksgiving dinner, after you've had that second slice of potato pie, sweet potato pie. Oh my. Let's just go on a walk. I, I'm, I know I'm stepping on toes now. I'm stepping on toes. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, trying. Like, I, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah. No, but we really do invite black families, um, black families to walk with Girl Check um, for our Black Family 5K. And it's fun because you get to have like a t shirt and a race bib. Um, and you get to have like a 3.1 mile walk in your in your neighborhood, where you live, at your favorite park, at the church, wherever you want, um, you are the designer of your own race. And from personal experience, my family has um, done this in past years, starting in 2016. And mm -hmm. even when we don't have Thanksgiving, uh, whether it's Christmas or any family holiday, birthday, we always end up going on a walk. So if you're trying to get your family healthy and if you want to see um, your family live and have many more um, opportunities for love and joy and fellowship, start with walking, start with walking. Eee, wow. Well, now <laughs> it's a tall order y'all. I believe we're gonna start a challenge. We can, we can accept this challenge uh, we're yes. gonna we're gonna have our pie. We're gonna have our pie, y'all. We're not taking away the pie. Yeah. We're not taking away the pie, the chitlins, the the roast, the turkey. We're not macaroni and cheese. We're not taking it away. We're just saying after we eat, let's go and walk. Let's go walk. Yep. And so yeah. if, even if our family isn't here, we can walk with them virtually. All of us can get out and walk, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Oh. Yes, all so, of y'all can get out and walk. Come on. And Haley said, listen, y'all, y'all know how we do Black Friday coming up. Oh, my goodness. This I can already feel y'all. I feel the heat already coming. They like, what? We are going <laughs> to not overspend this. Black We're not going to do it. We're going to reduce our debt because that's what it is. It's consumerism when we're supposed to be thankful. We out here spending all this money, right? So we're trying to reduce that, slow down. I hear it. I hear it. It's to slow down, be mindful, and take time to be communing with our family and walking. Everybody get out. And the itis. Listen, if we get out and walk, y'all, we won't have that itis. That itis. <laughs> so <laughs> we can counteract the itis with the walking. But we got to slow down yeah. on our eating, too. We talked about that in a couple other shows. So y'all go back and look at those. This has been so, so good, Haley. Haley, anything else you want to share? Anything else? This has been I, so wonderful. We're going to get started, y'all, with Girl Trip. There's so many things coming. I'm yes. excited. But yes. I oh, do so register at blackfamily5k.com. I'm sorry. Register mm -hmm. blackfamily5k.com, and we'll put the information up as well. But go ahead, Haley. Yes, I am so thankful for um, just being here and getting to commune with you, Pastor Cross. I cannot wait to see how many families that y'all have sign up for Black Family 5K. I am excited to see how many women's lives are changed and their families are changed. Um, feel free to join Girl Trek at girltrek.org and join the movement. Go for a walk today. Um, let nothing stop you from having that 30 minutes of just self-care, um, self-preservation. Um, you deserve to live. And we are so grateful to have House of Hope join in on the revolution. You guys have made um, made it a model. So we're excited for y'all to be a model. And Girl Trek is just so grateful to be a part of this. And join us for Black Family 5K, everyone. Well, thank you, Haley. Thank you again, Girl Trek, for uh, extending that offer to us and for considering us at the House of Hope Atlanta. We're so grateful again to have you here on Hope TV on Surviving and Thriving in a Pandemic. I pray and hope people from all around around the world, you can join wherever you are. We have women in the whole diaspora that are, that are walking, and that's exciting to hear that women in Africa and all across the diaspora are walking. So you guys, everywhere you are, there are sisters that are walking. Please connect with Girl Trek. Please connect with them. And then come on, let's do it, y'all. We're going to push back this, this uh, overconsumption. 
this Thanksgiving. We can make a change. We can make a change. So you'll see the information. But we're thankful that you came today. Share this, y'all. Share it. And we're grateful again for you being on the show. We'll see you guys again. Have a great, great week. Thank you. Every discipline starts with creating a habit. Find a plan that works for you. I know you can put a reminder in your phone, call so-and-so in 30 days. You can't use the excuse that, oh, I'm not, I'm an introvert, or I'm an extrovert, introvert, you know, stuff people like to say, nah, if you're not outgoing, right, you better get going, because that's the only way networking works.